The man them signed Dada. Yeah. I'm a different team. <laughs> what a goal, what a goal, love and so go. My God. Ever slick. Ever slick. Ever slick. After his disappointed display in the last turnout, hoping to redeem himself. And ready to sign. A massive hitter. Strike rate over 140. In T10, it's over 300. With Lobbins at the crease. As Jekka comes up and bows to Dodo. Happy to watch that one go. I play man, you go play man. Test match, you know. I'm a test match. A T10 member. I want to love and tell him. Yeah, Chief. All right. All right. That's wide off the crease. It's wide signal by the umpire. Very wide. That's a wide off the crease. Come on, Lovins. Come on, Lovins. What a go on. It's on no out, you know, man. Let's go. Let's go. No, no, no. Test match. <laughs> In words. Jekko. Comes up and bows to Dodo. Brilliant piece of pace. From Come on, Dodo. Ball, bowler from Skim. Big ball, Jekko. <laughs> As Jekko comes up and bows to Dodo again. There's a chance for an out. Oh. <laughs> and Diego the Relic, who had migraine, didn't make the team the last time out, is now on this scheme team. Surprisingly Tweety not opening the bowling for a scheme today. <laughs> no man, India back up. India back up. News, fly, news India to the back VIP up. area is that Tweety. India back up. One of his wing. As Jekyll comes up and bows to La Benz. This is the one they're hoping to face. Wow. After setting out scheme New for 5,000 pounds of yam to join Red Hills. New sign in. We all know there is a clause in his contract. Judas on strike. We know there is a clause in his contract for every six. He's rewarded half pounds of yam. And also he has to cook a pot for Reddles. And that's a wide signal by the umpire. We have Titi. Making the squad this time out after fitness issues. As Jacob come on, come on, and a very disappointing first over from him so far. Only the whites and just a single. Because they know the strength of Lavens, they're trying to bowl the ball, you know, into his, his, his legs. They don't want to give him a little more for him. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? is a very <laughs> strong off side player. So they're bowling as tidy as possible and close as possible to his legs. Not giving him any room to make runs. They all want him to make the duck to return to scheme. As Jekko comes up and bows to Labenz. Happy to watch that one go through to the keeper. You're not give no ball. You're not, you're not give no, no shot. Up a line and length by the pace bowler. God. No ball. No shot. As Jekko comes up and bows to Labenz again. What? Another wide signal by the umpire. We are 15 minutes into the game and it's still the very first over. As Jekko comes up and bows to Labenz again. 
a brilliant piece of bowling to end over and frozen it don't want to face his brother is about to summon want to tweet, you want to tweet the canary with the fractured wing and michelle i mean michael rose is about to bowl to dodo <laughs> <laughs> and Mr. Rose, we all know it's February about to start, Valentine coming up. And the first ball by the Canary is wide. And the Canary. Big rider. Hmm. That's Tweety. Comes up and bowls to Dodo. That's Come on, Dodo. Dodo. It's a bowling and scheme trying to redeem themselves after they were. Dodo, no, 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 New style, what, what's your style? New style! <laughs> and he's down the track and it goes for four. And Tweety, I'm not sure what Tweety was trying to do. I think he was tweeting up the wicket. That's not gonna work. And here goes Tweety again. The Canary. Need some ball, some clean ball. Bravo, clean ball. See ball, man, see ball, 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 see You know, man, if you're like T10, man, bro. A T10, you know, you can't hide. If you're wrong, put the T10, you lose. Easy. Man. Come on, man! As Diego comes up and goes to the And of course, the relic, Diego. Come on, Dodo! In the air and it's flicked away for six. Yes, Dodo! That's right in the area, Dodo. Prefers to have them. We all know dangerous he is. And after Chep Chep realizes his team need batsmen, he summoned Dodo. And Diego trying to get his line right. I think Diego is trying to bowl too fast. You know, at his age, he should just concentrate on length and line, right? Yes. Of course, we all agree. Based on his age, he's on the senior team, which is the retired. Whoa. And there you go, it's to Swelly. Swelly was a bit nervous and he was chance for a run out. As they go. Swelly come to us, the ball. Huh? You can't catch it. Some, some time, Mr. Williams. Some time, make you come to us, you know. <laughs> <laughs> run out for him. Dog off here with you, this one. Dog off here with you, this one. As they go, comes up and bows to Labins. Labins still. Not off the move. 
Love is yet to get off the mark. No, we can see them. Yeah, we can see them. We all know the clause in his contract. There we go. It's a chance to get him out for a duck, and he goes for six. Jump, if you jump and try back. Bump. Unable to jump because of the bump. And while he after seeing such a display, what do you think he should have taken that catch? Yes, man. He, he definitely should have taken the catch. But if he didn't take catch, he should have at least saved the six. Of course, seeing that the bump is covering his eyes, he doesn't need shades for the sun. And it's down the leg side and appeal for stumping. And we will go upstairs for review. Let me see the front line, the front foot. The front foot. Okay, very smooth. What's the score is no 25. It's 20, 27 with all loss. Into the third over. It's a wide signal by the umpire, and not out is the final decision. As Diego comes up and bows to Labenz again. Watch yourself, Minayot! So we all know the clause in Labenz's contract. He earned half pounds of yam for that six. Tell me. <laughs> oh God. How is the curry this one? I don't know. How is the curry man? Chip chip out there now, watch it. And in comes Frozen, the one. This is the bowler Laben's been waiting for. As Frozen comes up and bows to Dodo. Come on, Dodo. A swing. There's an appeal and it's a wide signal by the umpire. Yes, it looks like he wasn't too wide to me, but it's umpire's call. As Frozen comes up and bows to Dodo again, another Dodo swing man. and a miss. His first game, he's taking a wide no, I think he's not seeing a delivery. I think that was like... Yes, and there we go, we all know his strike rate. And just as Wiley saying Dodo is not seeing the delivery. Ball, 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 ball. That's another massive hit. And that's another massive hit. Watch your eyes. And the score moves on to 34 without loss as Frozen comes up and bows to Dodo again. Come on, Dodo. Danger man, Dodo. Not even uh, in any hurry to make runs. Wiley, how much do you think, based on the batting so far by this Red Hills team, what do you think is going to be the final total? Huh? Well, looking at the scheme bowling attack, I think this is going to be a huge total. Like about 120, 130. You know? I think in this T10, um, Red Hills could even declare for about 35. <laughs> That's a bit harsh and disrespectful to the team the, the team by scheme it's another white by frozen Labins is hoping for Dodo to take a single so he can go and strike <laughs> Labins very much fired up from for this over from his younger brother but we all know we're not playing buys but Labins was eager to run a buy just to get on strike we all know it's a competitive rivalry between them. One cheers for Liverpool and the other is a Man United fan. 
Labenz is trying to run every possible way he can. Come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> Very much disappointed. He was anticipating to face at least one delivery from Jovan. But Labenz saying Jovan is a lucky youngster. He lives to face another over. Keeper is now a bowler. It seems as if Titi won't be getting any of the deliveries. And Titi is not going to get any bowling today as Inzaman comes up and bowls. That is the worst no action I've ever seen in cricket. What do you think, Wiley? Well, we all know this guy is a rookie keeper. We've never seen him bowl before, so all right. let's, let's see what happens. Uh, watch the second ball. Go, go right. Maybe he's trying to throw the ball to the striker's end, hoping. That... And there we go. And that's what. And that's his. Looks, man. And that's a massive hit by Lavens. He was hoping to unleash his wrath on Jovan. But they have a saying in Jamaica, if you can't catch a real catch a shot. And he's a man is falling victim as he comes up the boat to Lavens again. And it was a mistiming hit. There's a chance for a run out. Yes, this decision is not out. He's hoping to get rid of this wicket. <laughs> and also, word to the VIP area and also the commentary is that that six hit by Labens is value of five pounds of yam. So he's now on five and a half pounds of yam as a result of the clause in his contract. I just was hoping he had one of that contract. It's a good shot straight to Sweeney, and he's taken oh the catch. God. And the overweight belly oh of Sweeney pushing him God. quite comfortably on the field. Oh God! Oh God. He God. He must take a wicket. He must take a wicket. And he's a man in his bowling debut after being hit for five pounds of yam. Yeah. Takes the wicket. And guess who appears? It's yam at the crease. Oh God. And after that wicket, it's now 43 for one. And a brilliant hit. Off the bat like a rocket. Yeah, I Not the even party. the canary could fly fast enough to catch that delivery. And it goes for four. It's now 47 for one. Wally, that was a brilliant shot. Immaculate timing by Dodo. We all know the power of Dodo. One time the umpire was asking, where's the ball? And Dodo trying to plant yam this time. Miss time. Miss time by Dodo. It's 47. For one. I mean, I said, no man can run again. And after the dismissal of Labens, Jovan is happy to bowl his second over. <laughs> oh God. He was hiding himself from his brother. Luckily, he's the captain, or the captain would have summoned him earlier. Comes down and ball to Yam. Well bowled by Jovan. It's on Yam's blind side. We all know Yam not able to see. And that's the disadvantage. <laughs> and here we go. Yam. And Yam make Jovan feel as if he's the greatest bowler. And here we go. And it's a flat six down the track. Yes, Yam. And Yam capitalizing on a gift.
Shot ball, the was quick. And I didn't know one ball. And after that one six, the quick. score moves on to 53 for one. As Frozen comes up and bows the yam, it's in the air, it should be taken. And it's another wicket. And Red Hills are on the verge of a disappointing collapse. <laughs> and I'm sure it would be the captain himself, Skipper Chepas. And Dodo running out of oh, ducks, the partners. Yeah, man, it's now 57 for Give me. Yeah, man, make 53 for two. Yeah, man, you can, oh, you We're okay, into okay. over. Okay. Yam. Over number okay, six. Okay. And we're now pro we're about to start over number seven. It's a man, With his medium pace. Causing Redhill's trouble so far. Then put him back when he attack. Whoa. The trick to this pitch, Wiley, as we see, it's a very moist area. Is to take the pace off the ball, so the batsmen have to generate their own pace in order to get maximum. And as a result, it costs the wicket off Labens. And we are about to see Inzaman in his second over. And of Big course, the umpire did not signal the wide, it's not a wide. And that's the first delivery of the over. What do you think about Inzaman action at wide? Oh. <laughs> I think it's very unorthodox, but I didn't know we were playing leg before. Because Inzaman is appealing for leg before, I don't know what's happening there. But I think they are mistake. going to a, a very good ah. They are going to a very good one. They are going to a very good Unfortunately, it's a wide because of the swing, the outswing of that delivery. Gibraltar made a mistake in selling Inzaman for two bottles of water. <laughs> it's two bottles of water well deserved. And scheme enjoying the bowling of Inzaman. Tweety hiding, Jeko hiding, Jovan happy to bowl his two overs after the dismissal of Labens. As Inzaman comes up and bowls to Dodo again. It's a slower delivery. With the in swinger to the batsman, Dodo not timing those very well. He's having a bit of trouble. <laughs> and of course, Gibraltar will be very disappointed. Sorry, sorry, and he apologizes to his team after that wide delivery. We haven't seen Shane on the attack today. While I'm wondering if it's because of the 30 balls, Shane bowling one over to create history. Why is not? And that's a brilliant shot. And that's four runs. I'm wondering if it's because Shane bowled 30 balls in a over. Why he's not summoned to the bowling attack? What do you think, Wiley? Mr. Kadna, why final decision? And it's four runs after reviewing. No, back to Shane after bowling the record over 30 balls in one over. I've never seen that in cricket, but Shane created history. Well, I was watching Scheme train the other day and it was the same thing, so I think the captain decided not to bowl him today. Well, he must be very disappointed after his schoolboy performance. And I'm sure he's not old enough to say his arm is out of service. He's a young man, goes by the name E Titty, Squeeze Titty, Nanny Titty, Big Titty. We also have uh, looking on from the VIP area. What? After a minor scare to his uncle, Inzaman Top Down decided not to risk him in the game earlier, which they won comfortably. Inzaman. And of course, it's a brilliant spell by Inzaman. A wicket. And he wasn't dispatched for much runs. And at the end of this over, the score is 59 for two. Three overs remaining, and it's of course Diego the relic. And Diego comes up and bows the church.
Captain. And the skipper after winning the MVP award in the league. He goes. And now we have Gata Fox. I think because Chep has sold out a game against Stop Town for a couple of dragons. Hey, hey. He sold out his, his, his wicket for a couple of dragons for not. So the dog is following him? Of course, we are still investigating it. I've never seen that in cricket. I've never seen a man being run out and instead of having the bat at the end Hoping he can discover some six and Gibra, I mean Red is, is on the verge of a collapse. What kind of comeback is this from Scheme? Diego has been playing cricket from he was about 12 years old. Now he is 63 and these are his first two wickets in cricket. Oh my god, well done Diego. His coach from primary days would be very proud of him. He should be rejoicing in his grave. <laughs> As Diego throws up a balls to Christopher. A swing and a miss. And the hat trick goes. Christopher is yet to get off the mark. <laughs> and I'm wondering if Mr. Kadna was really Diego's coach. <laughs> that means Mr. Kadna is over a century. As Diego comes up and bows to Christopher Columbus. Brilliant delivery. It's a no ball signal by the umpire. As a result, that's as a result of Diego's age catching up on him. His eyesight is not so... How does out before? And it's a free hit signal by the umpire. Fidox. And now Tweety advising Diego how to bowl this delivery. Christopher Columbus hoping to get a six. Diego comes up and bowls to Christopher Columbus. The ball didn't leave the set. The first circle. <laughs> and the free hit goes to waste. Christopher Columbus yet to get off the mark. As Diego turns, comes up and bows to Christopher Columbus. Brilliant piece. Brilliant piece of bowling from Diego the Relic. I remember when Scheme first signed him, they paid 50 million pounds for his service. Come on, Cassava, man! And over from Diego. Come on, Cassava, man! Oh. Can't believe. Can't believe. Um, where is this like scheme done them? One ball left. One ball left. And that's in the air and it's right in the safe hands of Titi. And Titi takes a catch. And Jacob think he's playing domino. Talking about the call it before he goes. And Titi of course is pretty almost today after his fumble in the last game. He appeared for scheme, they bench him and he's back in the lineup for scheme today. And it's 60 for 5 and 20. Oh, and he's in the air, it should be another wicket. <laughs> Wicked down for Redis. Someone ducks that too. And Scheme is on a mission. And the commentary is brought to you by Magnum. It's now 60 for 6. It's now 60 for 6. As Tweet is on to a hat trick. And he's Cricket.
wicked team about to collapse after such brilliant start. I think with this action that PT have when the batsmen are crazy, they're looking at him and they're like, what the hell is happening here? You know, they're mesmerized. I'm sure they're very uncomfortable facing him in that shorts as well. I'm not sure what kind of action I will add along with that shorts. I know it's Nicholas on strike to face Tweety, the former bats, middle of the batsman for Clarkstown Primary. Who is a famous pool player as well as Tweety comes up and goes to Nicholas. As they all appeal, they're very animated for that catch. It's the first catch the Ricky Keeper able to take. I'm not sure what kind of shorts is that. And he break DB record. And it's a brilliant over from Tweety. Patrick Maiden from Tweety. And at the end of the over, it's 60 for 6. Well done, Tweety. Well done, sir. Well done, Tweety, Tweet. And Tweety is very happy. And this is the final over to bowl by the opening bowler, Jekko. Comes up and bowls to Chris Bacalabas. And he hits the stump. But the Bills did not dance. And Jekko can't believe his fortune. You know, when Christopher came at the crease, I saw him. He did, did something with the stumps. I didn't know he was putting glue on the bill. We will also investigate that. And of course, and it's high in the air and it goes for six. And a no ball, so it's a no ball and six runs. And it's a free hit. And it's a free hit. And Jekko comes up and bows to Chris Fakal. And the last over. We are now all powerful. This Red Hills team is in the last over. The score moves on to 72. They have a hard time. They have a hard time. As Jekyll comes up and bows to Christopher Columbus and it's another hit. And it goes for four runs. And it's now two legal deliveries of the over so far. And it's 17 runs of the over so far. As Jekko comes up and bows to Christopher Columbus. Come on, Columbus, man. It's a brilliant comeback. We have the champion, former champion. And of course, Wayan is hoping to get on the action as well. Aisha hoping his pastor will be in the team for next game. And that's a nice hit. But Ice is in the right spot to stop the boundary. Because we all know Diego is not fast enough to react. Score. Score still remains on 77 and Christopher Dominic. It's now 81, 83 corrections. And at the end of over number 10, and the final over cost the scheme some 23 runs. And it's 83 for six. I think with Red Hills getting this 23 from this over, bringing the score up to 83, it's going to be challenging for Steam because we all know the strength of Red Hills bowling. Get out of
after he's made Nova, he must be disappointed with Dodo. After that big money signing to open the bowling as well as the batting for them. What do you think, Wiley? Well, you know, this Kane side cricket competition, all the competitions, new players tend to panic a bit, you know. Normally, new batters make ducks, new bowlers go for a lot, and Dodo didn't disappoint. He went for 20 after his first over. Here goes the eyeball into, and he's defending that one there. Beautiful ball there by man called Yam. Wow, come in here, that's a bad man. A bad man, a bad man. Of course. A bad man, a bad man. We'll turn. Inzaman again, and it's a clean hit. It's a straight hit up the bat of Inzaman. The man who has the longest bat in Kane's side cricket. That's a massive hit for six. Yes, it's a brilliant six. It's straight down the ground. Yam can't believe what's it gonna be. He's bowling a very tidy ball to come back there. Yam. Yeah. Comes up and bowls to Inzaman. That's a brilliant shot, but Dodo. Dodo looked a bit sharper in the field than bowling. As Yam comes up and it's another massive hit. And that's like teeing off on a par four golf course. And that's a clean hit from Inzaman. I'm sure they might want to sign him to play golf for them because his bat is long like a golf club. And here goes Yam. And he's a very good delivery outside out from there. Inzaman had no clue about that one. Playing a miss. And scheme require another 52 for victory. Which one now? Oh, and another second miss there by the man called Inza. <laughs> and at the end of over number three. Scheme require another 52 for victory. And they're now 33 without loss. 32 without loss after three overs. They're going way above the run rate required to win this game here. And here we are, we got a man called Gatta Fox. Excellent bowler in the previous game for Red Hills. Bowling that superb last over. He's now up bowling to the man called Jekko and he's at the crease in the bowling. Jekko is playing the one defensively. Straight to cover there and Chappers Field. It's back to the ball there. All of a sudden he just busts up. And I say, here we go now. Getta is back to his mark. Up to the crease. Yeah. He's up to the crease. Old the man called Jekka. Jekka is swinging down away the there to make it. Brilliant feeling there by the man called Yam. And there's no run. I'm sure it's not the pace of Gatta Fox. He's just, he just can't move faster than how he's moving. We all know age is on him. If he tries to go faster by the time the delivery should release, he's going to retire hurt. So he has to go as fast as he can. Look at it. It's the same pace. Comes up and bows to Jekko. It's a brilliant delivery through the legs of the tall batsman. Not able to hit. Stump. And that's a wise statement by the scheme skipper telling his batsman to watch the bowler. As Gatta Fox, we now look on the bowling action of Gatta Fox again. Mr. Stewart himself, look at the pace. It's the same pace. Comes up and bows to Jekko. And it's a brilliant delivery. Very beautifully bowled. His captain appreciate that one. I think he's trying to send a message to Yam that's how you're supposed to bowl Yam and get the fox of all the bowlers I've seen Bo Wiley get the fox is the only bowler with the consistent run up because it's the fastest he can go look at that comes up again and bowls the that was short and Jekko capitalized and frozen is out of his ice cube area and he has to make a u-turn because he doesn't want to melt because the sun is out 
that delivery there was just standing up saying to Jekyll, hit me, hit me, hit me. And he did oblige with a beautiful shot there of him. Deep we get for six. Here he goes again, swing away, and it's a beautiful ball there outside of some. Jekyll had no clue about that one. Swung away. And there we go. It's end of over number four. And the score is 38 for the loss of. I look like Steve Jarrett. Mm -hmm. As we can see, like Jekyll and, and the Pentaman are still at the crease. Yeah, in it. <laughs> Jekyll in brilliant form so far is trying to take revenge on his bowling attack that was hit on over the pit for sixes. Oh God! Yo, no, 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 so I was there in the scheme to go out and they say if they didn't beat the other side, they want to beat this side because if the man called Lovins, sell them out for two points of yam. Here goes Shepard with a wide delivery down leg side. Come on, Shepard! wide by the umpire. And the score now moves on to 39 for the loss of no wicket. And here we go, back to his mark. Up to the crease, going into Inza. Inza is swinging down. Over long off for a six. Is it's a beautiful off. shot over long off there. Big shot. Six runs for the man called Inza. He now moves on to 18. Wow. And the score now moves wow. on to um, 47 for the loss of 45 for the loss of no wicket. Here goes Shepard again to Inza. Inza is swinging down away. Open him in wicket. Six more. I'm sure if Gibraltar skipper is in the in the this stadium or watching the delayed or live coverage, he must be very disappointed with himself, Wiley. After selling out Inzaman for two bottles of water, Inzaman showing his worth. He moved to the scheme team saying he wants to win trophies, and Gibraltar cannot match his ambition. And so far, Inzaman has shown his worth. <laughs> and earlier, Labens put down the catch of Jeko. As Chep is come on, again. come on, man! It's a beautiful yaka, it's a beautiful comeback from Chep Chep after being hit for two sixes. I'm wondering what's going through the mind of the man called Labens after switching allegiance from Scheme to Reddles. And now Scheme is on the verge of beating Reddles. Here goes Chepa's ball into Inza. Inza is defending that one there. Off the legs, down to fine leg. Going for four leg buys. Yeah, man, in the bunny hero. We're not playing leg buys in this game. No leg buys, no leg buys. Umpire said now, nothing. He, he didn't see anything. He didn't see anything, so it's. He didn't see anything here, so it's leg buys, and we're not playing leg buys. Plenty for the thought of the man called Lavens. After saying scheme was no good, he had to move away from that side. And now scheme is on the verge. Alright, get him, alright, get him. All right, get him. All right, get him. Right, there. The looks like he was gonna attack the batsman. Humpire took out his license for your arm. Said he was gonna shoot. Here goes Shepard's ball into Inza. Inza is leaving that one away. It's down the leg side for another wide. Shepard is like, I don't know, he's afraid to bowl on the offside because Inza will swing that one away. So, here goes Shepard's at his mark, up to Greece, bowling to Inza. Inza is swinging that one away. It's all So far, Inza is not hitting sixes, he's teeing off. I'm sure Adidas or Nike or maybe Under Armour watching this coverage would like to sign him because he looks like a brilliant golfer. He's hitting them very far and high. It's like powering off a par five or a par four. Golf course. And now it's required just 26. No, 25 to win. What? The score now moves.
Hands on. Much over. The score moves on to 59 without loss. And Scheme showing, Scheme batting with intent today, sending message through all teams across the group. As. <laughs> Mr. Williams. <laughs> <laughs> Bowling to Jeko comes up and bowls to Jeko again. And Wiley, after looking at this bowling attack, one of the best bowling attack in the tournament, Chep Chep must be very disappointed with his team after such display from his bowlers. Even himself, and that's another six. It's a full toss, it's a gift, and it goes for six. And Inzaman is trying to tell Jeko that he needs to hit some runs because he needs more runs. All I'm saying is, my friend, after this performance by Scheme, I'm wondering what's going through the mind of the man called Benz. <laughs> now we got a man called Mr. Williams bowling to Jeko. Jeko is. right here. Here goes William Ball into this and he's, oh, it's a beautiful debris. Man Carlo Benz is asking the Humpire, please give us a wicket. He's like, oh, Humpire, who is that? He's like, please, Mr. Humps, give us a wicket. I'm wondering if Lovins has arthritis. He's going agony in pain. He can't believe that one. That was a brilliant delivery from Williams. It's a Yorker length delivery. You know, so them teeth, Mr. Them teeth. And with this desperation of the British I'm seeing Lavin's asking Miss Holmes, please, Miss Holmes, isn't that leg before? So you look like the place now got done, man. Totally so forget the leg before Rick, it is not playing. <laughs> no, I'm wondering if Lavin's is going to switch back to scheme. Earlier I interviewed Lavin's and he said scheme is a very good team. And he's saying, oh, my team can defend this 83. As Yam comes up and bows things, a man. And umpire happy to watch that one go through for a legal delivery as Yam comes up and boasts to Inzaman again and it's a swing and a miss by Inzaman. As Yam comes up and boasts to Inzaman again and it's another, it's in the air, is it going to be taken by Yam? It does. It's caught and bowled by Yam and that's the power of Renta Yam and Inzaman goes. And now we have Mr. William sucking lollipop. <laughs> no, 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 that's, no, 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 no. Swelly, take that thing out of your mouth, What's happening there? So I can see Swelly was on the pitch. He was on the field before Inzaman, before the catch was taken. So I think they told him to out and come out. So here he goes. Oh my God, it's a good delivery there by Yam. So scheme requiring 13 runs to win. They are now 71 for one. And here goes Yam bowling to Jekko and Jekko is... Oh my god, he's bowled. Oh my god, he's bowling, he's bowling, he's bowling! And of course, LaRue, aka Yam, is sponsored by Renta Yam. And we want to make up the game sponsors as well. Bounce, Dragon Stout, V Barney Grocery, Eversnick Media, also Top Town Sports Club. And now we have Bump at the crease. I'm wondering if he will transform into Coco. And it's four signal by the umpire. Miss Field again from him. And now 
the score is requiring nine to win. In our move, it's in our move. Nine runs to win. So it's now. And come round. But but give me a tell um someone tell me the same thing. Three overs remaining for scheme to get nine runs. They're much in the driver's seat, only losing a wicket. Three over nine runs. Three over. Three over nine runs. And of course, the vice captain Labins. Yam was demoted after not being much uh, vocal on the field. I know the wicket keeper showing his leadership. Setting up the field. It's now Gata Fox. Who evolved into Super Fox after his last over. They're now sending Chep Chep on the long off boundary. What am I do? What am I gonna try to do? And now they put Shepherds on the boundary. He knows if he misfield now, the crowd is on his back. Come on, man. And now Nick is moved into a small circle at covers. I'm wondering if he has good vision. He is a good golfer. He plays pool. As get the Fox comes up and most is ready. One more ball. A brilliant delivery. And because of swell, his belly is not able to adjust to that delivery. And Mr. Williams hoping to put this one into the VIP area. As get the Fox comes up and most is ready again. Another swing and a miss. Another brilliant delivery. And now we're seeing the power of a prep talk by the wicket keeper Labins. And Labins, and Labins hoping not to be on the steering of a defeat because this is the TB transferred from to go to Red Hills. As Gatavax comes up and most of again, that's a wide delivery signal by the umpire. It's now eight to get. Come on, Foxy. So eight runs for victory with 2.4 overs left. And the man called Fox Bowling to Kareem and he's swinging a miss. I don't think he's seen it. No, 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 I think his belly is too big so he can't see the ball. Come on, Fox. He can't see the ball. And that's three deliveries down in this over. One wide. And it's eight to victory from 2.3 overs. As Mr. Fox is at his mark, taking his time to run up on his bowling to Kareem and he's swinging. Oh my God. His belly is so big, it hit his belly before it sort of back. I'm wondering if Swelly is really seeing the deliveries. He's using his belly to control the ball instead of steering it with his butt. As Fox. Happy to see a that ball comes up and most to Swelly again. He says, and it goes for six. My God. And that's the power of Swelly, the former opener for William Nib. Now requiring two to win, a run to tie. They have lots of wicket in hand. So we see Mr. Williams swinging that one away over, fine leg for six. And now it's two runs required. As Mr. Fox bows, Mr. Williams says, oh, it's a beautiful delivery there for no run. Two runs required. 2.1 delivers overs, I should say. Why that nice? Two maiden go bowl, you know. Lord of mercy. Two overs. Two runs. Yes, sir, that is. Man called Bump at the crease. Man called Swelly at the crease. Let's see who La Benz is going to choose to bowl this over. And Bump is Reverend Bump. No matter the weather condition, Bump always use a church shoes. And Bump is about to face Dodo. And of course we all know the track record of Dodo. His first over gave Skim the motivation for this run chase. 
it went for 20 runs. All right, that's what I As Dodo comes up and bows to pop, it's a swing and a miss. So, you know, on the front, on the mic, we've got Labenz out there in the crease. So, Mr. Benz, what do you think about this? There you go, Levin saying they're not good. We just hit Mugo. Here goes Dada Ball into and he's missed that one. It's a white signal. I think this game is going to be finished with extras. I don't know. Dada is not bowling well. He's bowled that one. It's one run required for victory scheme. Here we go, Dada Ball into bump and he's swing up. He's dropped by Game by. I don't even know what to say. It's like a convincing victory. So, eight wicket victory for Scheme with one point four overs remaining. 